a quick question from one of you dear subscribers 32 rojo asked hi jacob great video I, I don't remember what video it was because i copied and pasted that the question it seems like you have a large selection of fragrances it would be great to see your top five or ten favorites you intend to wear this spring or summer so i shall oblige uh this will be my top 10-ish fragrances for right now, which is kind of a spring, kind of a, from winter to spring into warmer spring. Let's begin with the Chanel's, shall we? Uh, Jersey, the Pure Perfume. I really like this, this one a lot. It's a warmer one. It's definitely something I use in the morning. So this is how I will be classifying them. Morning, Spring, spring morning, winter and spring morning, summer morning, maybe not. Chanel Chance Eau Vive. Chanel Chance Eau Vive, uh, definitely all the time in my purse, wherever I go, no matter what perfume I use that day, if I want to refresh myself and I don't have a big bottle of some other perfume, I would use this one. Winter, summer, spring, fall, you name it, uh, it's always there. For especially for April showers. Now this is the, my favorite time of the year to use this perfume. So I haven't used it yet in 2016. Maybe I have, but not that I remember. Sycamore by Chanel. I will be using Sycamore when it rains. It's a perfume I use on rainy days, on very humid, foggy, misty, rainy days. The best perfume for April. I never use it past April though. I mean, generally speaking. Fourth and last of the Chanel's is Misia. Uh, Misia is a perfume that definitely works for me in winter and in spring, as well as summer, because the more powdery notes kick in in summer and the more warm raspberry violet notes kick in in the winter time. So those are the Chanel's I'm using at the moment or will be using as of in the, in the nearest future. Moving on to Christian Dior, so number five would be Poison Girl. I'm loving Poison Girl. This is a perfume I will be using, especially at night. Going out, parties, what have you, smoky environments. This is a party perfume to me. Dior nailed it as far as a party poison perfume. So the more I use it, the more I would like to rename it like poison, party poison, poison party, party poison. I will be doing a review of uh, Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum, and believe it or not, I mean, as much as I hated it in the beginning, I'm starting to really, with a lot of difficulty, learn to kind of break into uh, what it really is, its poetry, what it means, so I will be doing a review, but I'm still studying it, analyzing it, and I'm falling deeper and deeper in love with this one. So I'm using it a lot lately, but more so to kind of try to discover and understand what this perfume is all about rather than really enjoying it. I'm starting to enjoy it a lot, but it's taking its time, which is a good sign because if a perfume demands so much attention from me, it's always a good sign. So that was five, six, seven is the 2014 reformulation of Dior Addict. Uh, this one I'm using up like literally I'm showering myself in it every day. I am loving it. It's so elusive and it, 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 it runs away from you and then it comes back again. And it's annoying to people because I just overdo it. I do 20 spritzes all over myself and then people go like, Ugh. but then it dries down in a very weird way. And even many hours after you've sprayed it on, you get kind of whiffs of it, but it, it transforms into something warmer. It's green in the beginning. It, it's also another one of those elusive ones that I kind of, that keeps me guessing. The next one is also a Dior. It's Bois d'Argent. This one will definitely be very much April, May, June for me. Then we're moving on to Opium Pour Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. This is the Eau de Parfum concentration the only concentration I love of this perfume. 
uh, what can I say? It's peppery in the opening. It's vanilla in the in, in the bass notes. It's just magical. Very, 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 very magical. Uh, doesn't last too long on the skin though, so it's definitely a perfume that um, I would. Well, I am using it now, so March into it, March, April, and then it would slowly fade out as summer comes. It's not too much of a summery scent for me, except in the evenings. Then we're moving on to uh, Jassalmer. Jassalmer by Comte des Garçons from the Incense line. Jassalmer is a perfume that I use uh, especially late spring and summer. So let's say from beginning of May, sometimes I use it all the way up to September. Last but not least, so that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the eleventh one as a bonus for y'alls is Queer d'Ange from Hermès, the Hermès-Sens range. Queer d'Ange or uh, Angel Leather, I, what can I say? I have these little 15 ml bottles. I just go through them like nothing. This one's already empty. I'm on my third bottle already. I'm loving this. This is forever. You always have it in your purse wherever you go. Um... It's a perfume that you can use in winter, spring, summer, fall, whenever you want to feel extremely special and luxurious. There you have it, guys. I'm also wearing a very kind of... I, have, I bought this in 2009. It is the Hermes Kelly necklace for the occasion. We're closing it with a Queer Dange that I have been told by friends of mine smells just like the interior of a Kelly and a Birkin. Well, go figure. So we have a little Kelly necklace to go with that. A little bit of... Uh, fetishy look to end the video. Love you guys. Don't forget to, to the, the, blah, blah. don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more and let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite perfumes are and uh, thumb up the video. Don't ever forget. Don't never give up on love. Love ya. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun.